Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the YouTube channel Learning Light on C programming. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how we can detect and clear the read and write errors in C. So, for that purpose, we're going to use two functions one is called F error, and another one is called clear error. So, when we normally read or write to a file, there is the possibility of errors like uh, you know, unable to read from the file or unable to write to the file. For example, if you're going to open the file in read mode and if you try to write to the file you know it's gonna result in error so once that error occurs it's gonna set some error flags what we are doing is we are using this f error function and passing the file pointer to that function and it's gonna check whether any error flags have set if it is so then it's gonna indicate us that you know there is some file read or write errors so first we're gonna see the syntax of these two functions and then we're gonna see how we can use these functions in our program so this f error function as a parameter takes the file pointer and then it returns some integer value if this return value is zero which is going to mean that the last file operation which is read or write has not produced any error if the return value is a non-zero value then it's going to mean that you know there was some errors in the last uh, read or write operation so once a read or write error has occurred you know the particular error flags have set if we use this f error function again and again pass the same file pointer to this function you know always it's gonna return that you know the error has occurred so if you want to clear that error you're gonna use this clear error functions so you can see the syntax of this clear error function here you know it takes the file pointer as the argument and it's not gonna return any values so once we use this clear error function you know it's gonna clear all the error flag and then we call this f error function you know it's gonna return zero because you know the error flags have been cleared so now we're gonna see how we can use these two functions in our program so as I told you before you know this f error function is gonna return some integer value we're gonna create a variable to store that value and I'm gonna call it as status next here for the demonstration purpose we're gonna open a file in read mode and we try to write to that file you know which is not possible that's why it's gonna produce a write error so first we need some data to write to the file so I'm gonna create a character array char I'm gonna call it as data and uh, I'm gonna define a size of around 20 so the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna define a file pointer so it's gonna be file fp now we're gonna open the file using the fopen function f open and uh, here for the dem demonstration purpose I'm gonna use the example.txt make a note that you know this example.txt is present where the error.c which is the file we are working now is present and to this f open function we need to pass the file name which is example.txt and uh, remember that we're gonna open this file in read mode so it's gonna be R now we're gonna check whether the file has been opened successfully or not if fp not equal to null which is gonna mean that you know file has been opened successfully else we're gonna uh, print some messages like you know unable to open the file so I'm gonna use the put as function and I'm gonna say unable to open the file if the file has been opened successfully now we're gonna try to write to the file so I'm gonna use f printf function it's gonna be f printf first we need to pass the file pointer so it's gonna be fp then uh, we need to you know write the form as specifiers I want to write a string value so I'm gonna use the uh, percentage s form as specifier then uh, we need to refer the data source so it's gonna be data array here we're gonna initialize our data array and uh, I'm gonna store hello learner so now I'm gonna use the f error function to check whether the read or write error has occurred with this file pointer fp and also don't make any spelling mistakes here you know it should be f printf so it's gonna be f error and uh, as a parameter we need to pass the file pointer which is fp and also I'm gonna store the return value from this f error function in our status variable 
so it's going to be status equal to f error function with a file pointer now i'm going to use okay we're going to print out the value of this status variable which is the return value from the f error function percentage d then status so now i'm going to use the if and else statements to print out the appropriate message whether any read or write error has been occurred or not so if status equal to 0 if the return value from the f error function is 0 which is gonna mean that you know there isn't any read or write error we're gonna print that to the screen I'm gonna use a put s function and I'm gonna say no read or write errors else if the return value is a non-zero value you know which is gonna mean that uh, um, there was some read or write error has occurred I'm gonna use the put as function to print that message to the screen and uh, we're gonna say read or write error has occurred so let me add a new line here to make it pretty and uh, I'm gonna save it now you know we have opened the file in read mode and, and we are trying to write to the file so it's gonna result in write error and we are checking whether an error has occurred or not using this f error function and, and depending on the return value from this f error function we are you know printing out the appropriate message so i'm gonna compile and run so you can see here the return value from this f error function is 32 and it said read or write error has occurred that's because you know we have opened the file in the read mode and we are trying to you know write to the file and when I open up my desktop and open up this example.txt you can see here since the write error has occurred which you know the string is not been written to this example.txt so it's an empty file so if I change this one to w which is you know we are opening the file in the write mode and we are writing to the file which is not gonna produce any read or write errors and uh, it's gonna you know produce a result as no read or write error has occurred and you can see here the return value from the f error function is zero and uh, if I open up my desktop and open up this example.txt you can see here hello learner which is a string we wanted to write to the file and it's been written so I'm gonna change this one to R and now you can see here when the file has been opened in the read mode and when we try to write to the file you now it produced the error so if I use this clear error function to clear the error flags then this f error function is gonna return a value of 0 indicating that no error flags has been set or no read or write error has been occurred so to demonstrate the use of that clear error function what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these two statements and uh, paste it here and uh, before that uh, I'm gonna call the clear error function C-L-E-A-R E-R-R -E -R, then we need to pass the file pointer F-P as a parameter so what we are doing here is we are opening a file in read mode and then we are trying to write to that file which is gonna produce some write errors you know the particular error flags has been set and we are using this f error function to check whether the read or write error has occurred or not and then we are printing that uh, return value here and then we are calling the clear error function and then again we are calling the f error function and then uh, printing the appropriate message so what's gonna happen here is so first when we open the file in read mode and when we try to write to the file it's gonna produce the write error so the error flags will be set so here this f error function is gonna return a non-zero value we're just printing out to the screen that one and then we are clearing that error flags you know then we are calling the f error function again so what happens is here since the error has been cleared you know this f error function is gonna return a value of zero and uh, you know it should uh, execute the if part so I'm gonna be compiling and run this one so you can see here so first the return value from the f error function is 32 which is a non-zero value because you know 
file has been opened in the read mode and we are trying to write to the file and then we are using this clear error function to clear the error flags and when we call that f error function again so since the error flags has been cleared you know it's gonna return a value of zero and it just executed our if part so this is it guys this is how you can use the f error and clear error functions thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i see you in the next tutorial